this is the third time I'm doing this. I this third take. I really want to get this down. So, um, I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to make this a long tutorial. So first, if you want to, um, the Turtle Beaches is how you set it up on your computer, PC, whatever. I don't know if this works for Mac, so um, you could try it, but whatever. It's not. I'm showing Windows, so uh, anyway, plug in the USB, plug in the 3.5 millimeter. Okay. If you don't know what the 3.5 millimeter millimeter is, you see this box. There's two wires that comes out of it, and these are the two things. All right. Um, make sure your mic is plugged in. All right. Your mic? Okay, sick. Now, if you have two audio ports for this, like the 3.5 millimeter audio ports, make sure you put this in the speakers one, or the listening one, or the audio one. Not the microphone, okay? Whatever you do, not the microphone. This is for the microphone, okay? And powering your use, um, I mean your headset and all that, but, um, yeah, basically, it's for listening for a uh, microphone. Just listen, just think of it that way even if it's not true. Um, then you wanna right click your icon audio icon, my bad, audio icon on the bottom right. Make sure it's at 100 by the way. Go to right click and playback devices and go to recording set your turbo beaches as your default device and this will be on set as default, but make your speakers, your real tech, whatever, um, your computer built in speakers as your audio device or playback device. And uh, if you can't find your Turbo Beaches, you probably don't have the drivers installed. So, before, if you don't see your Turbo Beaches in your playback or recording, make sure your computer installs the drivers before you do this. Um, I don't know, or install like I. It's pro. It probably should be in here, but if it's not, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. Um. So anyway, the reason for why I chose speakers as like your regular audio device rather than the Turtle Beaches, because with this you could control everything on this inline amp. Okay, so here we got the game volume, chat volume, mic volume, or how how loud do you want to hear yourself, which these these two work perfectly fine. This works perfectly fine as well, even if you don't have your regular built-in speakers as your default device. Okay? But if you make it your default device, you could have this, this, and this controls. Okay? So with, with your speakers chosen, you could definitely hear the bass and treble more and you could use your game volume so that's a huge difference I don't know if people know this a lot or many people like me in the past just thought oh yeah it's just plug in and you're done but no if you make this your spe if you make this your built in speakers as just default device I'll give you an example okay so I'm playing League of Legends with my music on while Skyping someone my Skype will automatically realize or set my speakers as my Turtle Beaches okay so I'll be able to control my Skype volume with this, my chat volume, okay? But since I set my computer like playback device as my speakers, my computer speakers, built in speakers, I'll be able to control my league audio, my music um volume with this. So and also there's bass and treble that I could control, which I put to the fullest because it really sounds cool. But anyway like that's that's a big difference. If you leave your pl your playback device set set on default as your Turtle Beaches in this in this box right here, um, you could only control this the chat volume, and you do not want that. Trust me, because if you're on Skype, you're on um. Let's say you have music on, you ha you have League of Legends or whatever game you have on, or YouTube videos. You could only control it with this. And if you want to mute someone or mute something, mute your Skype audio. Well, you're gonna have to mute everything. You're gonna have to mute your mic, 
with this unless unless you um you wanna unless you wanna manually change the volume like on the settings of a certain program then you could do that too but I would prefer having all the all these all these things available to you so make sure you set your speakers make sure you set your speakers that your computer has built in as your default device rather than Turbo Beach PX22 so anyway that's pretty much it um, make sure you have these okay if you want me to take a screenshot, I'll probably take a screenshot just for you guys and put it in the description below so you guys know what I'm talking about just in case I'm going too fast um, and then sounds don't do anything communications I recommend it I, I recommend putting it on do nothing but it, it this has nothing to do with the headset itself it's just a setting that like won't turn down like your game volume I mean your Skype volume if you join a game or something like that so but you don't need to change this okay this is just optional sounds is nothing like I said recording and that so anyway thanks for watching this video guys hope you liked it um I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this option but um yeah I hope, I hope I'm the first one to show you guys and uh, if you guys need help with installing drivers and all that, just comment below and I'll make another tutorial for that.